All right. Spirit Psychology 101. I already filmed the intro. If you missed that, you can go on my channel. Oop, fuck. Oopsies. Okay. I'm working on my technology right now. Uh, I got, I got some. I'm going to invest a bit into this. We already covered uh, the introduction to spirit. Um, spirit psychology. Uh, you have to think of spirit as uh, I wouldn't say outdated. Okay, Google, but the wording on some things are um, okay. You know, um, I've already covered shape shifting uh, magicians who. Uh, Doppelganger, you are uh, in fact identity thieves, or uh, black magic is um, a form of uh, um, lies, uh, very well organized lies to set you uh, feeling a certain kind of way. See, I was um, at one point in time, I was Gamecock, and the entire purpose of the illusion was to make me appear paranoid and delusional, and blah blah blah, blah and more delusional and paranoid I became, the more people looked at me as differently and as, you know, delusional and paranoid, which fed into, you know, the spell work. Um, I'm going to go into what I call mastery points now. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll ask spirit, ah, just, you know, uh, I want to work on myself. I want to, I want to, you know, really test my boundaries, you know, on a, like, and just keep, like, feed me a story. See, uh, I've got. To, I've come to the point where I can uh, redo childhood stories and see different people's points of view. Um, the sky's the limit with spirit. Sometimes you got to think of him as a, you know, um, a child who wants to show you where the bad man touched him. He will always, always explain what you don't know first, and then get into the more what you do know after a bit. But for right now, I'm going to do what I call spirit PSAs, um, public service announcements. I do them, I used to do them on my Facebook, probably not recently deleted my Facebook. Go on my story, um, go ahead and check out the YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos on there about what was going on with me. Um, so spirit PSAs are a little bit different. Um, oh. King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Judgment is just what it sounds like. Judgment, either by spirit or by somebody uh, cast upon you. And the reverse, it's usually a bad judgment, if that makes sense. Uh, that was a bad judgment call, that's bad judgment. But here it's in the upright. King of Pentacles, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, masculine. Um, a lot of the times I'll check in with Spirit, how do you see me? He sees me as King of Pentacles, uh, which is weird because I am a mas uh, feminine. I'm a straight man, but I am uh, a feminine for sure. I am more creative and random, and I am not very direct, and I'm... Um, yeah, but feminine and masculine has absolutely zero to do with gender and gender identity. Um, I know a lot of uh, masculine women who, who drink and fight, fighting around the world. You know, that's kind of who I look for in <laughs> uh, who could balance out my femininity. That's the thing. Um, Knight of Cups usually has to do with um, romance and charm and, and charisma, and usually it's a water sign. Um, again, uh, it's funny that I have water sign I'm dealing with. Uh, as usual, if you want to know my stories, check it out. So there's a judgment about a king of pentacles by a romanticized water sign. Now, now this water sign wants to take action. Knights of action um, are cards of action. Um, knights are on horses, and horses symbolize well, of course, action and horse power and speed and cunning and, and, and cavalry and they're of action. Uh, of water, uh, which cups is of water, um, it's usually emotional action and in this certain situation, romance. Someone's feeling romanticized and charmed about how the king of pentacles and they're judging him uh, righteously about, you know, 
how romantic he makes them feel. Now, I'm going to do some clarifiers here. Mm, Queen of Pentacles, Reverse. Now, in the Reverse, Queen of Pentacles cannot uh, support her family. Again, um, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Uh, in the Reverse, that's a usually a single mother who is struggling to make ends meet, um, can't keep the house clean, can't um, get the kids to soccer practice, there's no gas money. Um, in the upright, it's the exact opposite, but she's on top. So this is in a reverse. So, continue. We'll see about that one. We'll see about that. And there's really no, 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 like, trick to it that, like, people, you know, you read the energies, but you can use their sky's the limit. People... I want to put, oh, you have to do it one certain way. No, there's no one certain way. That you can, your, your relationship with spirit is your own. Like I said, I'm, I'm a Virgo. Uh, I'm the gatekeeper. Um, other fellow Virgos will um, agree with you on this, that uh, Virgos have been through some bullshit. But not because of, you know, the way they are or anything. It's just, you know, um, society, Virgos are a bit weird. All right, Knight of Wands. This this guy right here, um, I don't get along with him very well. I am a one woman man. Um, Knight of Wands is a one night stander, um, impulsive. Uh, I put it this way: uh, he's quick to get his wand wet, and then he's quick to get away. In the reverse, it's very much the negative aspects of the player player uh, piece of shit. Um, that you wouldn't really want to uh, be seen in public with. Uh, impulsive, hasty. Continuing. Let's see. Let's hear about the King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles refers to uh, giving and receiving an equal reciprocity, or um, giving to two situations. In the reverse, it is um, giving to two different people. Now. If you aren't starting to understand the story that's being told so far, a judgment passed on a king of pentacles by a knight of cups about failing to make ends meet, impulsive player energy, giving to two situations. world okay and I'm going to keep those two for sure I'll wait for those in a minute um the world represents the cycle or um pregnancy or um what um environment you find yourself in your karma builds up over a certain amount of time and it puts you in a cycle now in the reverse that's a negative karmic cycle. Upright is um, a positive new cycle where, you know, um, people treat you as, as you know, you, you should be treated. Right? Now in the upright. Um, lovers speaks about honesty between two uh, people or, you know, genuine lovers. I mean, uh, I, there's no way to misinterpret it. <laughs> you know, uh, in the reverse, it's a disunion between two lovers. Uh, this was upright. Uh, Seven of Pentacles speaks of um, waiting for your crops to grow and, and patience and seeing the bigger picture and planting seeds. Um, this reading is kind of a, a different. Uh, like I said, I, I wanted a skill point. Very, like I, when we started, uh, we're, I have these skill points. Sometimes I do status screens. I call them, or I can check in on spirits and talk to hey spirit, how are you doing? How do you see this? How's your day? You know, uh, is there anything in particular I should worry about? Blah, 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 blah. Make them all talk with spirit. After all, uh, he's the coolest fucking person I know. So that spirit is funny. Really, really funny. Like I said, we're going to start this out with spirit PSA. So, if I would have to read this, um, which I have to, uh, blah, 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 blah. we're going to read this. Uh, Perhaps before you judge others, you should take a look at yourself and um, see what the other people 
are doing that causes such negative judgment. Now, the judgment is that I am a player, I am, or whoever, if it, I, didn't, I didn't make any specifics, that's who it is, or who it is for, did I? That's for a skill point, didn't I? The judgment is that the King of Pentacles is uh, impulsive and hasty and uh, failing to take care of their family, which is quite a judgment. Now, you notice the judgment is upright, so they're not too wrong uh, in, in the aspect of, uh, you know, uh, the financial. And I am quite hasty, uh, not quite so much giving the two situations. But, uh, anyway. Four of Pentacles speaks of control. We covered that in the last video. Uh, holding on, control, holding your bag. Um, right on top. Four of Pentacles, clarified by Four of Pentacles. Um, which is spirit. Get I stepped her. And since we accept the one out of the top, we'll go with seven of cups reverse two, which is a disillusionment or a minimizing of options. Ace of Pentacles. Now, a lot of people get Ace of Pentacles wrong. Ace of Pentacles has to speak of, has to speak of, has to speak of. And look at me. Uh, speaks of uh, a gift or an offer of um, substance of, of uh, let's keep seeing that flash you want to see that happen crazy um, a gift or an offer of, of, of you know uh, monetary worth Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a betrayal. Um, not a full-blown Ten of Swords, everything ends betrayal, but like a backstab or a, uh, mm, how do you put it? Uh, just like a, when you tell someone not to do something and they do it, and it doesn't have to rely upon like cheating or like, hey, you can you know when can you please refrigerate the Dr. Peppers and they don't put it in the fridge and they do the exact opposite and, and throw it in front of the, the heater. That's kind of five of swords, backstab energy. In the reverse it speaks of conflict resolution. Which is um okay, we're I'm over it, I'm you know. Whatever, we'll, we'll put the Dr. Pepper in the fridge. Well, I guess I'll do it myself, huh? And, and just fix the problem. Empress. As a divine feminine, I do know this card for sure. Uh, the Empress is Libra energy, um, but she is the be all end all feminine woman that everyone should strive to be. And I don't say woman very often as a divine feminine myself. It's hard to say woman or man. Uh, feminine. So I am in fact a feminine. I am a straight man. Um, so secrets to be told. Um, she is nature, nurture, heaven, and home. And uh, some of all creativity and um, expression. And, and um, the opposite of the emperor who is very direct and, and very uh, logical. Right brain, emperor's left brain. Uh, it's not just man and woman out here. That 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 ship has sailed. I mean, I used to have a joke that uh, my uh, sexual gender, my sexual identity, is uh, a uh, turkey baster kidnapped by falcons, and now it's a uh, glass chain being pulled north. You know, as a wink and a nod here. Of course, as we're speaking of empress, emperor just came out, which is a. Uh, uh, Aries energy, uh, authoritative, uh, direct, logical. I am all that is man, emperor. Uh, masculine. Um, 
again, I don't know everything. I don't claim to know everything. I don't, I don't have misdirected activity. Um, okay. I don't claim to know everything, and I won't pretend like I do. But one thing I do do is, um, do do. Ha, do, blah, blah. I will never lie to you. I will never, on purpose, tell a lie. Now, there are, when I am given misinformation, I will convey misinformation, but if I see the information, then that's the information that I give. Eight of Pentacles speaks of work. And just as I am earning a skill point here, as recovering Empress and Emperor here, in the reverse, it has to do with misdirected activity or running around chasing your own tail, getting absolutely zippo nothing done, but you can in the reverse. Chariot speaks of willpower, success, and forward movement. Again, in the reverse, has to do with a lack of willpower and lack of forward movement, um, lack of success. Is there anything at all uh, you want to tell them that's in particular, Spirit? Seven of Swords speaks of deceit and disarmament or fooling somebody. In the reverse, they're only fooling themselves. I don't remember how this one fell. So this is my go-to. I don't remember. Trip. Upright. Deceit. Deceiving others. Who's trying to deceive who? Ten of Pentacles speaks of uh, full-blown abundance, and I have a, a joke about abundance, you know, having sex in the middle of the streets with two handfuls of cash as the cops look on and go, boy, that's cute. Yeah, we'll let them finish, and, you know, we'll arrest them later, or they'll pay bail or whatever, just let them do their thing. Abundance in the reverse, lack of abundance, uh, or uh, the illusion of abundance, like something that appeared abundant did not, and it was, of course, in the reverse. Two of Cups speaks of um, a union between two people. That doesn't just mean romantic. It, uh, there's emotions there, of course, but um, it could be um, two people coming together on a, on a certain thing, or a child even, or um, anything in general. Uh, in reverse is a disunion uh, between two people. So, Skill point achieved here. Deceit leads to a lack of abundance and a disunion between two. A lot of people are afraid of the death card. The death card is not one to be uh, very much. Why does my screen keep flickering like that? It's crazy. Um, Ten of Swords is really the one to look out for. Um, it speaks of, uh, you know, like Julius Caesar level, uh, everyone, you know, taking their shot at you all at once. Or uh, an ending of some sort, just completely ending something entirely. In the reverse, it speaks of uh, regeneration and um, overcoming and getting over a uh, brutal ending. Other than the upright, so let's go ahead and check that out. Again, there's there's no particular certain spread, certain way of doing things. There's a, it really it really has to do with you know your intuition. Nine of Swords speaks of uh, fear, anxiety, um, nightmares, uh, and the reverse is overcoming such things. Uh, does that make sense? There's one, Six of Cups. Six of Cups has to do with the past. Bottom line, be it positive or negative. So, these two cards in union, joint union, having nightmares about the past or anxiety about past situations happening. Again, so this particular person, uh, knows it's over and they have nightmares um about it the 
Seven of Pentacles speaks of, um, I covered that already. I already covered that. Duh, it's right there. So, that being said, with this Knight of Cups, we're speaking of the lovers and the Seven of Pentacles, here is that clarifier for the continuance of that Knight of Cups energy. Because they, they feel like they're in a lover's union and they see the seeds growing. They see they planted. This is again upright, which is continuing. So let's see what seeds this particular person feels like they have planted. And we're going to clarify on that. Knight of Pentacles is um, slow. He is the slowest knight of the knight suit. Um, very slow energy, but he gets things done. So instead, he wins the race. Is that not terrible? We all know. And the reverse, it's stuck. He gets distracted easily. You can see positive, negative, negative, stuck. Five of Cups we covered in last lesson, regrets and, and the opposite moving on. Stuck with regrets. <clears throat> I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> Uh, questions, comments, let me know. Uh, thank you for uh, being a diligent audience.